everyone, welcome back to my home and my studio. I have one more suggestion to change inside of your brownie camera so it will help you shoot wet plates better. Let's get started, okay? One of the problems with this setup is that once you put this top back on, like so, there's a little bit of wiggle room between here and the back of this, and we don't want that at all. So, I'm going to make a couple of springs that I'm going to glue into the back, way back here, and that's going to help um, hold this. And I'm just going to make it out of a Coke can. So, I'm going to take a Coke can and my tin snips, and all I'm going to do... Is cut. Oh my goodness, this sound. Oh, this is not a good sound for me. Oh. Oh. There we go. No good. Now, I'm just going to cut that in half and I'm going to bend the end in bend this end in i'm going to do the same thing here doesn't have to be perfect at all so i've just folded down that can a little bit more and i have a perfect little spring i'm going to do this once and i'm just going to tape this onto a white sheet of paper because it's so hard to see the inside of that black camera on the camera so I'm just going to take one piece of duct tape here and another piece here. You pretend this is the back of the camera. I'm just doing this to show you. There's no white paper involved in actually doing this. And then I'm just going to put that into the center of the camera. And now look, I've got a great little spring there that's going to hold that into the back of the camera and the plate's not going to slip around on you. Good job. You want one of those. And just one will do in the back. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. And it's just squishy. Just enough squishy. All right. There you go. Thank you. Bye.